Goodbye and Good Riddance is Juice World's debut album that released back in 2018 and today we're going to be taking a look back at the rollout and everything leading up into that album. But before we do start, I do want to shout out to Dell, link to their Twitter will be in the description down below for providing this thread for us. And with that being said, we're going to dive on into the history of Goodbye and Good Riddance. Goodbye and Good Riddance starts off on June 15th of 2017 when Juice released his 999 EP which featured two specific songs, Lucid Dreams or Forget Me and Sticks and Stones which would later be released and renamed to Hurt Me. Towards the end of 2017, Juice would release the All Girls Are The Same music video and the song on SoundCloud which would later become one of the biggest hits that Juice has ever dropped to this date. In a later interview with iHeartRadio, Juice revealed that he wanted some of the remixes recorded for All Girls Are The Same to be released such as the Lil Yachty and G Herbo remixes. Me personally, it was a couple remixes to all girls I wanted to put on, like a couple other rappers, like did remixes to it, uh, G Herbo, Yachty. But unfortunately, I didn't get to put them on there, but it's all good. On February 1st of 2018, Used 2 would end up leaking under the name Bury Me Alive, but also on this same day, Juice would go to record another song that would be on Goodbye and Good Riddance, which was Scared of Love. I get so high on Xanax that I almost do what? Four weeks later, on March 13th of 2018, Juice would sign a $3 million deal with Interscope, which made headlines for many articles such as Billboard, XXL, Complex, which also helped boost Juice. Juice's name even more. During this time, All Girls Are The Same started to gain a lot of attention on SoundCloud which prompted it to be officially released on Spotify and all other DSPs as the lead single for Goodbye and Good Riddance on April 13th of 2018. The song even ended up peaking at number one on the US Viral 50 the same week it released. Three days later, Juice would also tease that he had a big project with visuals coming soon in an interview with Complex. In this interview, they asked him what can we expect from you next and Juice goes on to say that I have a big project dropping that I can't say too much about. I have a lot of visuals dropping soon. That's next up. A lot of exciting stuff coming. Expect a lot of shows, merchandise on the way. It's a lot going on and a lot coming. I just want people to know that the future is very bright. It's going to be way more than what you expect. A few weeks later, on May 4th of 2018, Lucid Dreams was officially released on all streaming platforms as the second single for the album. A week later, the music video would end up releasing on the Lyrical Lemonade channel. Looking at Lucid Dreams from today's point, of view, we now know that it peaked at number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100 and is a certified diamond record. It's also just under 2 billion streams on Spotify, which makes it the 15th most streamed song on Spotify overall and the second most streamed rap song overall behind Rockstar by Post Malone. Three days later, on May 14th, an interview with Lyrical Lemonade was released where Juice revealed the theme of his next album was going to be a love tragedy. My first piece of, like, I guess piece of music I'm dropping um, is going to be like a, like a love tragedy, I guess. I think it's probably one of the best things I've put together. Four days later, on May 18th, Juice would briefly go on Instagram Live and tease a remix to Lucid Dreams featuring Lil Uzi Vert. What's good? What happened to the Lucid Dreams remix, dude? It'll come out eventually. I got you. This unfortunately wasn't able to release while Juice was still alive because of all the lawsuits that kind of gained and spawned from the track Lucid Dreams. On May 21st of 2018, Juice would post a snippet of Black and White on Instagram with the caption Project Tomorrow Night, confirming that the release date for the project would be the 23rd of May. The next day, Juice would unexpectedly release Lean With Me on SoundCloud as the third and last single after premiering it on Zane Lowe's World Podcast. Juice also confirmed the title of the album during this podcast, which would be goodbye and good riddance. On May 23rd of 2018, the project would officially release on all streaming platforms alongside Lean With Me. However, on SoundCloud, the album briefly appeared under the name and the cover art of F.U. Bella, and all the skits on the album had the name Bella's Betrayal and Bella's Karma. This most likely got changed due to the fact that they were kind of risking lawsuits with Bella being one of Juice's exes. Goodbye and Good Riddance ended up debuting at number 15 on the Billboard 200 and sold 39,000 units in a first week. Since then, it has never left the Billboard 200 and has been certified four times platinum and has gathered almost 7 billion streams on Spotify, making it Juice's most streamed album to this date. After not making the cut for the album, Wasted was released on July 10th as a single and eventually later added on to Goodbye Good Riddance as track number 4. The same situation happened with Armed and Dangerous. It was released on November 9th of 2018 with a lyrical lemonade music video and it would also be added on to Goodbye Good Riddance as track 
track number five. Three years later, the label ended up releasing an anniversary edition of Goodbye and Good Riddance on its third anniversary. Two additional tracks were added. The first one was 734, which was a popular leak at the time, and the second one was the Lucid Dreams remix because the lawsuits regarding the song had finally been settled. One extra piece of info that I did want to add in here as well is that Juice's girlfriend at the time, Starfire, confirmed that Juice was trying to get Toxic Humans to release on Goodbye and Good Riddance, but the label didn't like it because it wasn't sad enough. It's kind of funny looking back at that now because the label wants to put Toxic Humans on The Party Never Ends. Goodbye and Good Riddance is kind of the definition of a timeless project. The fact that it's been out for almost four years and has never left the Billboard 200 and that it's still getting insane amounts of units sold every single week just proves that this album does not age. The world on drugs. 